welcome again to this brand new course on first api so on this course i'm going to teach you all the basics all the things you want to know so on this course we are going to use first api as our back end we are going to use react as our front end and we are going to use mongodb as our database everything you're going to learn here on this tutorial i've seen everyone is preparing these tutorials on first api react and mongodb they call it farm stack so why not me just to tell you on this tutorial we're going to look on the basics of the first api we're going to create a cloud application and everything should be functional first api is not like django or flask don't take me wrong, Django is awesome and Flask is awesome, but it has some small differences and we are going to talk about those differences and if you have any question, please leave on the comment and I'm going to answer all the questions. The only thing you have to know on Fast API, just have some Python basics and on React, you need to have some JavaScript basics and if you have ever built any app using React, that would be great. And on MongoDB, I'm going to show you step by step how to install and download MongoDB to your rock machine. So we are going to create our backend server. And this backend code will be run on first API. Then we'll be making post and put request to our database. And then our database is going to pull out some information. And those information, we're going to display them using our react front end there is a little difference between mongodb and other databases like mysql and postgres on mysql we usually have a database then we have tables then we have rows and we have columns just the same just the database instead of tables on mongodb we have corrections and then documents and we have feeds on instead of columns see as you can see the structure of mongodb database so we are going to have a single i mean a single database then this database is going to have one correction which will contain a document maybe let's say this document has an id has a, a title and description you see okay also you may have another correction i mean correction two which we have a document which contains an id comments you see and you're going to have another document uh, which is correction three which we have a document and as it's just simple it's not that very complicated compared to other databases but for mongodb we have corrections so instead of having tables rows and columns we have corrections and these corrections contain documents and these documents have particular information so just to get started you will need to have python installed to your to your computer so just remember when you're installing python add you should add your python to path so that when you execute your commands should be run by using the python integrator so the other thing you need to, to have you need to download node make sure that you have node on your computer go to the node website and download the node and download the latest version then you are good to go also you will have to you need to have to download the mongodb community server so go to mongodb and download the community server and install it so the installation process is so simple just go to installation next next just remember if you are downloading the community server if you don't have the mongodb compass make sure you download it but for the version like i'm using when you download the mongodb community server comes with the compass so that's it let's just go let's just start and see what you can see if you have installed your mongodb 
Okay, so if you have installed MongoDB correctly, you if you type MongoD, then dash dash version, you have to see the information about the version of the community server and other informations. So you can also check for the Mongo shell. Click enter. Yeah, good. So also the Mongo shell is working correct. If Mongo compass is installed correct to our machine, just go to the search and type if you can see Mongo compass. As you can see on my machine here, I have MongoDB compass. If you click MongoDB compass, okay, this is just a, a graphical user interface for MongoDB as we use PHP my admin and the other from Postgres. I don't know which is PG admin. Yeah, it's the same. So if you want to connect with your local machine, you input here a local server. When you connect, it connects directly to your database. If you are able to see this, that means that you have installed your MongoDB correctly. So it's time to work on your app using the first API.